Chapter 7, Sampling Distributions A sampling distribution is a distribution of all of the possible value of a sample statistics for a given sample size selected from the populations. And when we're dealing with sampling distributions, there are three error terms that you need to know. The first one is called sampling error. And the concept here is that every time we collect sample, the sample will be different. And because of the different samples that we have, we will have different sample characteristics, we will have different sample mean, we will have, we will have different sample standard deviation, and so on. And the sampling error capture the difference between the sample mean and your population mean. So sampling error is basically your sample mean minus your population mean. That's the first error term that you need to know, sampling error. The second error term that you need to know is called the standard error. And the notation of the standard error of the mean is the sigma x bar. This is the notation for the standard error of the mean. And the formula for standard error of the mean is basically your standard deviations divided by square root n. And how you can think of the standard error is that you can imagine this is just an adjusted standard deviations. We're adjusting the standard deviation by the square root n. So your standard error, in short, is basically your adjusted standard deviations. And whenever we're dealing with sample, we always look at the adjusted standard deviation or the standard error. And if you look at the formula, your standard error is basically your standard deviation divided by square root n. So if you look at the equation, as your sample size increases, as your denominator increases, what happens is that your standard error will decrease because of the inverse relationship. So larger sample size means that we have a smaller standard error. And that's the second error term that you need to know, standard error of the mean. The third error term that you need to know is called the margin of error. It's basically your critical value, your z critical times your standard error. So your z critical times your standard error, which is your standard deviation divided by square root n. And that's basically your margin of error. And later on, I will show you what the margin of error looks like on a graph. So these are the three error terms that you need to know. First one is sampling error. Second one is standard error of the mean. And then third one is the margin of error. So those are the three error terms. And when we collect data from a sample, we want to make sure that we have a large enough sample size. And large enough sample size is basically your n has to be greater than 30. And this is basically what the central limit theory states. Basically, what the central limit theory states is that if our sample size is large enough, when our n is greater than 30, then our sampling distribution of the sample mean will become approximately normal, regardless of the shape of the populations. So basically, what that means is that when our sample size is large enough, then our sampling distribution will be approximately normal. And this is what is shown in the diagram here. When our sample size is large enough, then our sampling distribution will have a normal distribution curve. Use. And in chapter 7, we're going to use the same formula that we learned in chapter 6, which is norm.imv to calculate x, and then norm.this to calculate the probability to the left of x. So those are the two formula in Excel that we're going to use.